Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at Boomi World 2018 in Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin with John Furrier. And we're welcoming to theCUBE for the first time uh, my, Brian Stewart, Managing Director of Deloitte, specifically in the HR transformation practice. Brian, thanks so much for joining us on the program today. Oh, thanks for having me. I so Deloitte, longtime global systems integrator with Dell Technologies, Dell Boomi. You were on a customer panel this morning in the keynote that was very interesting. Talk to us about what Deloitte is helping American Airlines transform with Dell Boomi. You mentioned this is you know, this is a big, long duration sure. transformation. American Airlines, well known, a lot of passengers, a lot of customers. Talk to us about where you started three years ago, what that transformation has been like. Sure, and when, in 2013, when American and US Airways came together, the first thing they did was focus on their customer world. And once they were able to get the customer world under control, they started looking at how they could take their employee world forward. And what, what we started to do was, as they said, we want to take success factors and make that our system of record. We came in to do the implementation, okay? So we leverage uh, success factors and use Dell Boomi to do the integration between all the external and internal systems. So it's some 136 plus uh, integrations to external systems and 327 internal systems spread out uh, you know, across the American Airlines. So. And what were some of the big results that you have helped them achieve to date? Well, I think for American, the biggest thing was they wanted their employee experience to be the same as their customer experience. They never want, it. they believe that if the employee experience is, is the best it can be, that their customers will have the best possible experience. And so when they were able to do the implementation of success factors and tie together the integration points, it allowed their employee experience to come up to the same standards as their customer experience. And for the first time, they had an integrated system that allowed them to get that view provide you know, a consistent experience across the board and, and give them, really give the employees confidence and they knew where to go to get their data, to manage their own data. So. Talk about where you see Dell Boomi succeeding where others haven't been successful. Their attraction's been great. A lot of people watching might be looking at Dell Boomi and say, hey, okay, what's, they're born in the cloud. What's, why, why are they successful? How, how, what's, what's, the, what's the key thing in your mind? From our perspective, when we looked at the possible options, we, had, we, we looked at several possible middlewares, and the way Boomi stood out was two, two major ways, scalability and flexibility going forward. When you're talking American Airlines, over the course of the last 20 years, we're talking 325,000 plus employees that have travel benefits. So in order to scale to that kind of number as we pull across, we had to have a solution that could be speed to build and pull that information on a regular basis, yeah. okay? And Boomi really checked that box in a heartbeat where nobody else could. Yeah, and then the big trend is, you know, everyone says, oh, hit the easy button. Not so easy when you're dealing with a lot of legacy integration points, the project timelines tend to get bloated and, and lengthened. Yeah. That's the challenge, how do you shorten those? Well, that's a big, that's a big challenge. How do, how do customers get that, that success point? There are, there are a couple different ways that we looked at handling that. Um, number one, by using Boomi, we had all the pre-built you know, uh, attachments to the APIs for success factors. That was a big deal for us. Because we wanted to have speed to build, right? I mean, when you're talking 136 integrations that have now turned into 150 as, after we've gone live, it's, a lot. It's, it's yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to manage, and we can't have a situation where every little thing is if it's custom built, then things start to fall apart, right? It becomes a self-fulfilling, snowballing type of prophecy. So the consistency provided by Boomi allowed us to get that speed, and then it also gave us the flexibility to make calls where sometimes there are challenges with that kind of volume of data to make the uh, combined like ad hoc report calls with the API calls and do innovative. Uh, actions that most people haven't seen. I know some of the stuff we were doing, uh, they said, huh, we didn't even know you could do that when, when yeah. we pulled it up. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, that's the business you want to be in. Right. Getting to a success point where you can actually go out and get value out of the data <laughs> and deliver the user experience piece. Right, and, and as we go forward and we continue to leverage this data, it's, you know, HR systems are great. And like I said, American believes that the, the employee experience must be as good as the customer experience. But it's often hard to determine ROI exactly, right? Because, you know, HR systems, you know, it's not always clear. But one of the things you can take it forward on is combining it with other data across the organization. 
and looking at how we can tie the employee data using Boomi uh, with data from airports or customer and tie that out and provide insights going forward. Yeah, that's a big deal. I mean, I think, I mean, you're in the HR side of it, this principle of practice that you're in now, but I think you nailed what we hear a lot, which is, oh, we have a stack that's going to help you, but you're talking about a horizontally scalable cloud fabric model, whether it's on-premises or in the cloud, but the data right. accessibility cross-pollinates, that's a key value. Yeah, and you know, when you look at things that can impact operations, drive shareholder value, I mean, when you can get insights on those type of things by combining that set of data, going across like you're yeah. talking about, it really changes what you can get out of the system. And so it's more than just an integration platform at that point. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's a data trust platform. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Boomi serves as the underlying foundation for how we move that data around. So transformation theme of many events, uh, Dell Boomi coming out today and saying we want to be the transformation partner. Transformation is now a, it's a C-level conversation, it's a board level conversation, mm -hmm. it's an imperative. Very challenging for businesses like American Airlines, who grow dramatically by acquisition, et cetera, but also weren't born in the cloud to undergo such transformation. When you're having con conversations with customers, where are you going right to that C-level, the boardroom who says, all right, Deloitte, we have to transform, we need your help to help us identify where we should start. What's that customer like inquiry start like? It depends. I mean, there, there sometimes is a question about what can the roadmap look like, kind of what you're talking about from that C-level executive. Or we may be in the middle of an implementation where we're identifying, you know, like here's how we can leverage this data and take it forward and bringing that forward. You know, when you talk to, one of the things that you see all the time is people on the ground have wonderful ideas and understand exactly what you know, changes could help impact the business. And listening to those people and you know, putting together their thoughts and taking it forward is one of the big things we do to try to make sure we, we, we actually leverage all parts of the client experience. So I think it can start the way you're talking about, but it can also start with, you know, I, I think one of, the, one of the gentlemen I work with at, at American, he's, he's a senior manager and his ideas are something we constantly collaborate on to try to come up with how we can improve American Airlines as a business, so. Uh, in terms of Deloitte's partnership as a global systems integrator with Dell Boomi, you have choice, customers have choice. It's, it's about much more than integrating applications, data, people, processes. Today, Dell Boomi came out and said, we want to be not just the transformation partner, but we're, we're going to redefine the I uh -huh. in iPads, intelligence. Chris McNabb talked about iPads 2.0. From some of the things you heard presumably yesterday in the Partner Summit, what excites you about this new vision that Dell Boomi is bringing to iPads? Well, the opening up and the flexibility of the platform and to add your logic in as the, the representative from Sky, uh, all I've talked about this morning, um, understanding how you can add that logic in to drive changes to anything from customer experience, you know, adding the intelligence into your workflow, uh, being part of the, you know, their flow product that they're talking about, adding that intelligence in really changes the game on what you can do. And that is the most exciting part to me because if you add that intelligence in, you can, you can save both a customer frustration, user, user experience, and the bottom line. And you, know, you, can, you can anticipate things more quickly and be able to help people solve them themselves. Brian, my final question for you is, um, as you've seen the different evolutions of you know, deployments and consultancy projects over the years, they've gotten shorter. I mean, it's, I mean the gravy train of you know, two year projects, everyone's making money, because client servers are just a different animal back then. Sure. You know, IT was different. Now cloud, speed is critical. You mentioned scale earlier. I need speed, I need scale, and I need to have automation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be going back and uploading on the 138th, 6th, integration right. and find out the third one has problems. I mean, this is the you know, chasing your tail kind of philosophy. That's over. Right. This new world. What's different about this world we're living in now? If you had to tell a friend, hey, as you start going into the digital transformation, watch out for these things, but do more of this. What would that advice be? How would you advise? Um, I think, in, in, if I were to try to phrase it like that, it's the, the key that we look for is automation and everything. So, one of the big challenges I know most people face is, all right, I can test these interfaces, I've got quarterly releases, people talk about release fatigue, right? How can I automate my testing cycle in a way that 
because that doesn't come just out of the box, right? And actually, we're leveraging Booby for some of that, but, <laughs> but how can I automate that cycle? Because what you're exactly right, people don't want to have to say, oh, I've tweaked one value on my data model, now I have to test 48 interfaces, I shouldn't have to generate 48 data sets, it should be automated and ready to go. And I think that kind of speed is what we look at as a big changer for how we, how we handle keeping those things compressed and not testing everything in the world every time. So. And it changes the productivity. Yeah. I mean, those are like, that's grunt work, you got to go down and get down and dirty if you don't have the automation. Someone's got to do that. Exactly. That's a weekend, <laughs> you know. I mean, you're, we could be ruined basically at that point. And, and, and you see that frustration, right? Because, yeah. you know, if people have to do that, nobody, you have highly experienced and highly paid people, they don't want to sit there and type in data all day because <laughs> it's a waste of their time. <laughs> and so it's not a value add either. Cool. So. It's, no, it's a waste of time. It's, it, it's also a waste of a, a lot of money. Well, Brian, thanks so much for stopping by theCUBE, joining John and me today and talking to us about what Deloitte is enabling customers with WME to achieve with respect to transformation, we appreciate your time. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching theCUBE, live from Boomi World 18, I'm Lisa Martin with John Furrier. We'll be right back with our next guest.